There we go, episode 7. <laughs> Ideally things will be uh, well enough here in this time, in this episode. We have things going ahead now, which is good. Uh, so many games just abstract infrastructure away. Yeah, I know, that's that's what I love there. That's what I love. Hey, do that sold delivery? Hi, Ben, I want to join the Yanks. <laughs> well, this music will turn you. Okay, we do see a force over here, then the mountain apartment. I do wonder why it's showing me the uh, mountain apartment. Right, let's see. Uh, Confederacy invasion. Jackson's call. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see what's going on here. Where's this? This is Columbus. Oh, so we have Jackson's call out here then. Interesting. Right, so we do see the mounted department of 6,259 men. We do have 15 guns there. Jackson's Corps has 8,000 men and 18 gunmen. That battle could be won potentially. It's very tight, but it could be won. Oh, we're seeing the telegraph lines now. Interesting. So we do have Columbus over here. Now, Columbus is actually quite a large center. We do actually have rails over here. Raise Columbus to the ground. Manufactories over here. So they're shifting. I need to isolate the Army of Tennessee. The Army of the Ohio. I need to isolate them here. See, this is the issue. We don't have men freely available, do we? That's the problem. Uh, see, this is it. It's trying to find me, cause. We could potentially... I mean, this is it. <sighs> Do we take a core? It does leave us, frankly, uh, significantly weakened, but perhaps we do accept the inevitable that we must, must adopt a defensive position, which we already have in fairness. We do have Winchester here. We do have a Harper's Ferry Armory, which is something I do not want to lose. So we have the Army of Virginia here. I mean, they're entrenching. So we have the Manassas Junction here. Hmm. A consideration might be that we have them. Um, the issue is there's the number of crossings over here, so that's pretty difficult to hold. So that position is by far the best we're going to get. We do have Hills Core over here. Uh, the difficulty in moving Hills Core is uh, at least open. Frankly, we need the only like <laughs> actual spare forces we could potentially manage would be the army of the peninsula that's the only thing we could potentially manage here and we do need to raise more men and i think that's what we need to do now is we need to raise more men uh just in general across the board really across the states because there's not much i can actually do i might go ahead and actually try to form a new core well not even a new core a core is quite large uh a new division in uh carolina if we can so we have army of virginia here uh, let's see. I do have here, then. What is this? Oh, hello. Uh, sign perk. So we have siege train. The heavy siege artillery is assembled into what's called a siege train, transported to take part in sieges only. The siege train consists of heavy rifle artillery and mortars. Okay. Hmm. So, I don't think we had this beforehand. So we have the airborne balloon. That's uh, only the hot air balloon. Uh, hot air balloon or something crazy enough to take it up and under enemy fire to report enemy movements. Yeah, so many options indeed. A Bureau of Military Information uses civilians as detectives and spies and gathering the information and organized fashion improves the situation awareness of this unit. Uh, we have the flying column over here. Uh, copying the French invention, it's possible to break free from the heavy logistical chain. Its simplicity is to carry more rations and less clothing and tends to allow longer and faster marches. Interesting. Speed is very important there. Uh, foot cavalry. With inspiring leadership and familiarization with the hardships of forced marches, the men will keep on going longer than you thought possible there. Engineers and mechanics. Organize the civil engineers and construction experts from all units into a single unit to be used at a time of need will allow quicker construction progress. And we do have the ambulance corps up here. 
uh, proper organization of the ambulance system, uh, rooting out corruption and willingness to gather wounded soldiers is a first step towards proper medical care to wounded soldiers. We do have the pontoon train. Pontoon bridges are used quickly to cross rivers with the equipment the army carries. These bridges are made of wood or India rubber, which are better than nothing. A lot of options here. Sappers and miners. The uh, soldiers in the armies include many with mining background. Organizing these men to stop, oh, uh, sorry, to sap towards enemy field works would make assaults a lot less costly. Uh, land torpedoes. A land torpedo is an anti personnel explosive, a barbarous subterranean booby trap to hinder enemy movements, especially uh, to cover withdrawals. Partisan brigade. Using conventional cavalry forces for deep raids will harass enemy movement in their rear, making their unit. Okay. Bushwhackers. A form of guerrilla warfare. Bushwhacking aims to treat the army using ambushes against military forces, civilian tanks alike, with now uninformed. Oh, uh, now non uniformed irregular cavalry. Embedded reporters. Right, okay. Uh, so that would actually improve the, uh, I imagine, the gain of support, etc. Limelights. Chemical lamps use uh, superheated balls of lime. Or calcium oxide creates a glow. Uh, right, okay. Now also down for combat allows the illumination of enemy targets for nighttime bombardment. Intriguing. We do have expert scouts. The unit has organized a band of hand-picked uh, cavalrymen that have skills to avoid detection by enemy pickets and the uh, bravery to move behind enemy lines in small groups. And then finally we do have river expeditions. Operating closer with brown water navy units unit is used to navigate the rivers. Okay. There's a lot of options there. <laughs> There's a lot of options, in all honesty. I do like the idea of the flying column, though. That's quite intriguing. Uh, the Bureau of Military Information is actually quite important. Uh, superior construction speeds would not be a bad idea, either. Uh, skill cartographers. That's pretty good. Drone accurate maps that actually benefit their military users is rare. That's actually really quite intriguing, though. I might go for skilled cartographer, actually. None of experience. I think having an actual accurate layout of the terrain is essential and does make a significant difference and potentially. So hopefully that'll be a good choice. Right, we do have Pendleton's artillery over here. I wonder where they are. Washington's artillery. Intriguing. Right, what I'm going to do here then is actually create a new unit. And I'm going to look towards a brigade or a couple of brigades if we can. So we have North Carolina here. Uh, where's Virginia? So we have Virginia here, with plenty of uh, volunteers, and we're going to raise... These guys are so expensive. Holy moly, that brigade is so expensive. Fuck. Mm. Our brigade is so powerful, though. But maybe we do look towards putting that into uh, the construction of new ships, really. So that's the James River. Squadron there. If I could break the Union's uh, show called there, that'd be important. But I need to defend New Orleans, don't I? But, let's see. Oh, do I just create it in here? So I can create it here, actually. Yeah, I, <laughs> it does cost a lot. We'll go ahead and we'll take a look at the actual cost of an ironclad and compare. Right, so we have the ironclad river gunboat ram. Try and say that three times fast. We have the ironclad warship. I wish I had like an actual amount of resources I had here. We already have ships under construction. That's true. Okay, in fairness, then I think probably a brigade or more is a wise idea. Just to try and even to have a reserve would be very important. So I'll admit that. Uh, games alone, by the way. <laughs> Whenever it's ready. Right there we go. Right. We'll have a creation of a new brigade, then. I could change that weapon. So, get rid of the non-available doesn't matter. Imports is an interesting one. So, right now we only have the Springfield Rifle Musket here, which is only 400 yard range. Uh, 878 there. Production only, import only, production and import. We do have the Model 1817 rifle here, which is a range of 400 yards. Uh, a slower firing rate, however, it is slightly cheaper, however. In my opinion, you can only achieve parity or close to if you focus on one British and French intervention will even uh, the field Navy-wise. Well, that's true. But I'm looking towards potentially evening the field in the brown water fight. I think we can potentially 
win perhaps if we're decisive in the rivers, but we'll see. So, um, effective range. Hmm. Standardization is an interesting one. I think we go for this one considering we can actually create it here, which makes sense. If we could try and standardize it, that probably might bring down the cost, perhaps. Uh, so we'll see what we can do there. So go back. Right, okay. And has it been created? I think I created it already, actually. So never mind. <laughs> it's already done. It is already done. Now let's see, I do have a hill call. Maybe I do for a time take hill call. We do have a brigade somewhere or corps under the command of uh, Stonewall, don't we? Or do we not? Is that... Oh, here we go. Yes, Thomas J. Jackson. Okay. Unhappy. Hmm. There's an Ohio. I could take a risk and actually have that core sent out that way, but if I do that... Well, then again, this is the issue, isn't it? If, if the Army of Virginia is sent back... Well, if the Army of Virginia is forced to retreat, then we're not in a good position anyway. Maybe we do have Hills Corps moved out there. The issue is we don't have a direct uh, rail line here. Uh, if we did, that would allow for quick movement. I don't think I can actually build one here, which is odd. Maybe it's just too expensive or not suitable. Um, they could move this way and around. Or they could march. Hmm. I think what we'll do then is we'll construct new units. I could potentially win that battle. But no, then again, no. Um, I do have the armor of the peninsula that could replace that force there. So we have that then. I do need to get reinforcements out here then. How could I get them to Parkersburg? Right, so that way they would march. Maybe we go for that. We'll have them march out. <laughs> Don't worry there, plumber man. Don't worry. It's all good fun, right? Okay, let's get that music. Union Invasion. Coast Division. Right, never mind. We have to deal with that. We have Branches Division out here. Um, hmm. Right. Have them shifted here. Or not. Oh, it's a fort, isn't it? Right, that's why. Hey there. <laughs> How you doing there, Grim? Good to have you, my man. Not quite yet. Okay, believe that I'm going to have to use a core here. Hmm. Can't really allow it. Right. It's not great, we can't move here quickly because we don't have the rail lines. But I don't think we have much in the way of choice. So... How does one cancel these orders? Hmm. We're all going to be continuing in the west and shortly. We'll see here, then. Uh, let the game carry on playing. So they're still entrenching. Right, I want you here. Okay, they're gonna move out. So we'll do all the invasion here, and then we'll have Hill's calls, uh, Hill Core moved. Okay. So we have da uh, Jackson's call here. They're marching on, on Columbus. Okay. Hmm. Okay. 
It just will allow that then. If we can actually burn Columbus, that'd be uh, pretty important. So do see these forces out here then. Uh, so that is a Union army in the field here. That can be defeated. Indeed. Right, let's see. It looks like they're entrenched. 7th Division there. 7,300. We could potentially flank the enemy here. That'd be an interesting proposition. So Army of Eastern Sea. Maybe I do move to flank them. We do have the second call moving up over here. So it's not like we're going to have it undefended. Um, okay. We could march that way. But no, then again, I might as well leave them there. I could bring simply second call up this way. And then again, that would actually disturb. That would actually have the Army of Ohio turn against us. It's going to be an interesting fight, really. I think the one that we are going to have to try and take then is over here. Uh, they do have supply now, which is good. They're still entrenched. Can I tell them to stop entrenchment and actually just accumulate that supply? Telegraph uh, Depot. Fortress. See, these guys are entrenched as well, which is a problem. Right, go ahead and build a depot. We do have 17,000 men versus their... 9,906. We can win that. I'd love to try and get some more artillery up there if I could manage it. So perhaps I go ahead and try to strip some of these garrisons if I can. So there's only a couple guns here. A couple guns here, but can I take them? Um, no, it doesn't look like it. These are just garrisons. We can't do much for them. With them, sorry. Alright, so I do have a Texas department there. I mean, you say that, but even, like, eight guns would be really great. <laughs> It'd make a difference. It'd make a pretty considerable difference for us. Hmm. Oh, are they heading back to Clarksburg? Perk. Right, okay. I need to find out how you can actually cancel orders. Let's see. It just looks like it just stopped units, then okay. I want them positioned there. I'm sure they'll figure it out once we get started. I'd like them to resupply the town if I could. Oh, it looks like that's going to take some while, though. Orders on the way. Okay, using telegraph lines and shorten the distance to higher headquarters reduces overall delay. Okay. At the bottom there should be it. Let's see. Hmm. Just, just tell them to stop, actually, if I can. Right. I would love to move upon Columbus. We'll see what we can manage there. I love the fact we're actually playing the game now. I really do like that. We're actually having things move in the field here. Right, they're now moving out, which is good. Looks like they've just got their orders, which is excellent. It might be worthwhile to potentially have the army uh, of the Mississippi potentially move out here to... We have Huntsville, which is ours. I need something that can actually keep us in the field, really, in terms of, like, logistics. That makes perfect sense, because Coronif is actually a decent-sized uh, city. Huntsville is interesting. It would be a provocative move, though, to the Army of the Ohio. Frankly, we need the riverboats before we can do much. That's going to be the big thing here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping that we'll be able to, like, turn the Army of Ohio away. 
Right, I'm building up that uh, depot there. I'd love to get a supply of stores going there. I'd love, frankly, to get some artillery out that way. We do have the construction of this over here. That's probably going to take a while. But we'll try and manage it. Um, so I'm defending this over here, but is it worth defending that lake? I don't know. The Union has their blockade here. 22 ships, 289 guns. Water Battalion. Interesting. Historically, the Union began marching to Coronif at this point. Ah, which caused the Battle of Shiloh. Interesting. Right. Yeah, so then we need to be proactive. Oh, shoot. Coast Division. That's a big force there. That's because we committed the army of the peninsula, isn't it? That's the problem, we're having to deal with some invasions now, which is problematic. I can deal with them. It's just not exactly great. Let's see, Moorhead. Can I have that division leave this position? I don't think so. That's a problem. Yeah, we need that. Okay. Need to put the pressure on elsewhere, don't we, really? Right, let's see what we have here. Right, Confederacy issues uh, $10,000 in bonds there. Hmm. Military is going to be an interesting one. Um, see, we just need to have... We need more. Just frankly need more, really. Making progress through that. Industrialization would help us. And we need to get to the cheaper river boats, <laughs> frankly. Okay. So that's going to cause me problems there. I do have the James River Squadron moving up here. Well, the thing is, having more men in the West is all well and good, but the issue is, if you don't control the Mississippi, what's the point? Uh, and I mean that, really, because the issue is, if you can't control the river, you can't control it. 
we don't have enough men that we can actually raise. We don't have the finances to raise such men. We don't have the time, really. The river would actually give us all that we need there to force them to move. So we do have second core shift in here. Okay. There's a few positions where we could potentially win key battles that we need here to win the West. And that's going to be the focus here. Hey, doing that, Dravid Ross? Good to have you, my man. Oh, so I can create a rail line here if I so wish to do so. That's excellent. Second core here would give us all we need then to break the 7th Division. If we break the 7th Division, I can potentially move then into... Ideally, we can actually force... Uh, Tennessee to secede the dreaded... No, Kentucky to secede the dreaded Union. <laughs> okay. But Father Stefano seems somewhat better, actually. Well, they're besieging it, which is not bad. That gives me time to relieve it, which is excellent. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, you're you gonna like, give me a bit of credit here. <laughs> I'm not used to all the states. I'm not too sure, actually, regarding Kentucky. We do have a lot of support in Kentucky. It's at 51% of this moment of time, actually. So I'm going to be intrigued to see what happens there. Re retaking Nashville would be just huge for us. That's a big city. Second call moving there. Okay, they've set down here. What I'm going to go ahead and order now is a depot here, potentially, or not. Never mind. Hmm. Oh, interesting. They're marching. Very interesting. Hmm. Maybe so. Maybe so. I wish I had more guns, but we do technically have a few more guns. We are entrenched there, which is uh, a great thing for us right now. I can't get men there, but I could potentially take that battle. I'd like to take that. Uh, Hill Squad needs to get their hell moving. I think we just, like, bide our time. Uh, so they're going to be moving towards us, which is fine. That works to our, our advantage. So I do see the Atlantic Squadron moving in there. Need to control that. Is that the James River? Is that the name of it? Need that. Hmm. They're taking their time to move there. Okay. Now things are actually moving, which is excellent. We do have things actually on the fly here. Go on, music. Come back to me. <laughs> Come back to us. Or not. Okay, yeah. Performance definitely seems to be somewhat better, actually, which is nice. So we do have pencil color out here, the fortress there. Hmm. Is it James? Okay, I see. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, dear. Only uh, three boats there. Just <laughs> not enough. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to get them out here to New Orleans if I can. Hmm. Apologies, a bit of a uh, cold on the moment, it seems. Alright, tell them to move there if I can. Okay. Oh, God, that's bad. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 
Uh, the end of April is the historic invasion of New Orleans. Uh, it seems to be uh, considered, but 